thawing glaciers across the north. Sea ice is arriving later across Arctic coastlines. The landscape is being shaped by thawing permafrost. This is the Arctic's changing environment under the effects of ongoing climate change. Climate change is impacting the Arctic more profoundly today than the rest of the world, warming our north three times faster than lower latitudes and shaping our glaciers, sea ice, and land in its wake. I'm Rick Toman, climate specialist here at UAS International Arctic Research Center. And I'm John Walsh, a climate scientist at the International Arctic Research Center. And welcome to Climate Change in Arctic Environments. Over the next few weeks, we're going to view Arctic ecosystems and the changes happening to them through four interconnected lenses. We'll examine the Arctic atmosphere and how the characteristics of the layer of air above us drives precipitation, temperature, storms, and more. We'll dive into the Arctic seas, where key species from algae to bowhead whales make their homes, and a thin yet vital layer of ice cover is vulnerable to change. We'll trek over the Arctic land to see how ice, fire, and animals shape the earth beneath our feet. And we'll take a look at the peoples of the Arctic and how ecosystems shape economies, cultures, and more. A cycle of freeze and thaw makes the Arctic a region of dramatic contrasts and a region that is highly sensitive to change. For these reasons, the Arctic serves as an early indicator of climate changes that will eventually impact the rest of the world. You'll be learning from experts in their field, from biologists and ecologists to modelers and social scientists. At the end of the course, you should have a good grasp of how the Arctic system is changing and the impacts of climate change on the atmosphere, land, water, animals, and the peoples of the region. See you in the course. course.